Hello, Aquarius. It's your girl, Breeze the Goddess, coming at you with another channeled message, okay? This message, somebody really needs to hear this. I woke up about, out of my sleep um, just to write down what I was hearing so that I could translate this the best way that I could to you, okay? You guys, please do not hesitate to like this video. Matter of fact, please just like this motherfucking video. Keep in mind, I do not get paid to do this, you guys. So while everybody is watching these videos, this is literally just messages coming from the heart, okay? And the best way to support me that costs you nothing but a, a tap, literally, that you probably scroll on your phone and, 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 and do anyway through social media every fucking day, it really supports my channel. It really helps me put myself out there, and it helps other people get to the messages that I need to give out. And I feel like this message is going to resonate for more than... It's going to resonate for a few Aquarius, and that's just the situation. But I need to get into this because I don't think you guys see this coming. Okay, I feel like this is somebody that you are an associate with. Somebody that maybe you wanted to be friends with. Um, tried to be friends with. Okay, whether you're a divine masculine or divine feminine. I have two different scenarios for each gender, though, so I'm going to get into it. Okay, so this person, first thing I want to do is describe this person to you. Okay. First thing I want to do is describe this person to you. So let's see if we can get Spirit to help me out. Spirit, divine and ascended masters, angels and spirit guides, our ancestors of divine love and light, please help me translate this message for Aquarius, okay? And also please help me to protect anybody that may be watching this reading, uh, engaging in this reading with me, Spirit. And please send any negative energy or ill intentions, hexes, curses, or jinxes that may be put on anybody watching this reading, including myself. Please return that to sender, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Help me channel this message, spirit. Now, what you need to know about this person, this could have been an associate, an acquaintance. This actually really could have been a friend at one point. Or, you know, you wanted to be this person's friend at one point. Something took place. Something took place. Let's see. Yeah, Three of Cups. So you and this person were working together. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You could have met at work or met doing something that you like to do. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting the music industry. For some of you, uh, for others of you, it could just be a hobby. It could be some type of sport. Uh, something. It's, it's, it's an opportunistic type um, environment. It could be it could be work for some of you guys. Um, for others of you guys, it could just be a, like a friend group or some type of hobby you guys all engaged in. Um, but there was a partnership here with this Three of Cups, okay? Nine of Pentacles, okay? I feel like this person sees you as like somebody who has their wish fulfillment, something that they want. Now, you guys, the weird part about this is I don't feel like it's, like, even though this is a pentacle, I feel like this is more <clears throat> monetary or maybe not even monetary, maybe not even something that you can buy. It's just something that you have, this person wants. It's something that you have, this person don't got, this person wants or wanted. Whether it's your talents, your money, um, <clears throat> The way that you impact people. I, I'm not sure what the situation is. Temperance is here, okay? A Sagittarius could most definitely um, be involved here. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see. Something that you have, this person wants. Page of Wands. Some opportunity that you were getting. Some gift that you have. Some opportunity that you were getting. This person wanted it. <laughs> And I mean, this person was really cutthroat about it. I'm pretty sure the cards are going to expose just what I mean. Yeah, with the death card here, you're not friends with this person anymore. You're not even acquaintances or associates with this person anymore. But you were in the past, okay? You guys could have had a fallen out, actually. Something related to this partnership with this Three of Cups here. Okay. Justice is about to be served with this Justice card here. The scales are about to be balanced. Okay. For many of you, I feel like the opportunity that this person wanted to steal from you, 
I feel like this person might have actually successfully done that. Um, honestly, for some of you, let me see. I don't know where I'm getting this download from. Yeah, Five of Swords. This person was in competition with you. And this was in reverse. Conniving, backstabbing, backstabbing. This person was willing to do whatever to fucking win. Whatever to fucking win. And with the look on this person's face, I don't feel like they knew what they were signing up for. I don't feel like they knew what they was trying to get, what they was trying to take from you or what they was getting into. Two of Wands here. Yeah, you made a decision at some point to walk away from this person or from this group. Okay, this could be somebody that you work with or a group of people that you work with or something something you guys all like something you guys all were doing something you guys were all doing right um this person started with you as a friend and then at some point got really competitive um about things um the admiration they had for you that made them gravitate to you at some point turned into jealousy and i feel like it's because certain opportunities certain opportunities were being thrown your way that they weren't getting access to that they really really wanted i feel like they really wanted it and it was like nobody would give it to them because it was like it's something that you have that they don't they feel threatened by that so this person with the magician card here did some type of black magic some type of magic, engaged in magic in some way, shape, or form to try to redirect your opportunities, your blessings to themselves, okay? Again, with this Five of Swords, I don't think this person knew what they signed up for here. But this person, this magician here is giving trickster energy. So I feel like this person is about to come up in your energy again, or they're trying to make their way into your energy. Okay, I'm hearing spiritual break in. This person could be trying to force their way back into your energy. I feel like you really cut this person off. And it's because this person can see a ten of cups with you. Okay, this is about love and family and everything else. But perhaps they just feel like they would love doing this more if they still had you around to do it with. I don't know. Or they felt like just things flowed easier. Things went better when you were with them. When you guys were doing this together before you guys fell out. Because I... I'm definitely getting the energy that you guys felt out with this Five of Swords here, the Justice card here. Yeah. Definitely getting that energy. Hold on just a second. My battery is dying. Let's get this charger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and it's crazy because I feel like my battery dying is symbolic of what is happening to this person. I feel like... Whatever they were using to get the one up on you with this group of people or whoever these people were, um, with the five of swords and the three of cups here, it could be anywhere between three and five people involved here. Um, they got as far as they could get with what they had, uh, but it, at this point it's just not enough or it doesn't compare. Or Everybody is still kind of wondering where my aqua is. That's really the sauce. They wonder where aqua is. What's aqua up to? Is aqua coming back? Can we get aqua to come back? And this person is like, well, no, because the way me and Aqua fell out, I don't see that happening or I don't see that working or whatever. You literally could have cut off this entire group because you fell out with this one person. But, you know, in your defense, this one person could have been like, if you fell out over a fake issue with this person, like there's been fake talking about on your back, whatever. I feel like you caught on to the fact that if this person was talking shit about you to these people and these people weren't telling you that they must have been talking shit too. Somehow I don't feel like somebody like ran back and told, I just feel like you found out and you moved accordingly. And it's like, you found out about this person, this person hurt the most, but everybody was involved. Everybody was engaged. Okay. Yeah, with this eight of cups here, somebody is definitely regretting Okay, how they moved with you, okay, because you definitely walked away. There's a burn bowl in this picture. You burned away whatever remnants were left to get it out of your system, and you walked away. You let it go. You let it go. 
uh, with the five of swords under the eight of cups this person wanted to compete this person wanted to fight this person felt like they won and you were just like you know what this person has no idea what they want i'm gonna let them have it for some of you guys this person was trying to suck up to people who weren't good people people who had uh underlying agendas underlying motives okay and you warned them about this and they didn't listen to you and instead of you know believing you or having your back or whatever this person dogged you out dirty matched you because they were competing with you to the extent where you would want to walk away so that they could come in and take this opportunity from you and i hate to say it you guys mm, for what i'm seeing here like i feel like this person was really successful for a second with this page of wands here i feel like this person thought that they were going to get all your powers like they were going to be handed down your gift or something, a gift that you had, and that didn't happen. So they started trying to do magic to try to harness your gifts. That didn't work. And they're just looking at you like, you know, at first it was just like, you have what I want, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles. But then it was just like, well, maybe we have to work together for me to get what I want. But this person would not be trying to join forces with you for you because they miss you. Um because they fuck with you with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like that's how they're going to try to come in, like, oh, I miss you, where have you been, what can we do to get back right, can you forgive me, type energy, but in reality, this person could give a fuck how you feel, it's this opportunity that they want, and this person feels like they're going to need to butter you up in some way, shape, or form for these other people in order to get it, these other people, I feel like they're wondering, yeah, with this King of Wands here, this person is trying, and it was in the reverse, Sorry, Knight of Wands. This person is trying to butter you up or get you, get your guards down, uh, whether they're trying to invite you to a party or trying to invite you to something festive to like break the ice. And then they're going to try to offer you this opportunity or they're going to tell you what they really need from you or what they're really around for. With the High Priestess here, I feel like you saw this coming or you already know. Somebody here could definitely be a tarot reader or a psychic, okay? I feel like this is something that you already know without even having proof. You see how the high priestess, if you ever really look at this card, I don't know how many other readers do, her eyes are closed, but they're open. This person thought you didn't see what they were doing and you knew the whole time what they were doing. And this person didn't know these people. I feel like they, they knew this person probably as well as you did, but you're experienced. I feel like you knew what this person, these, this group's intentions were. You read through it, you saw it, and you tried to warn this person and they didn't listen. This person is still kind of not listening. They're, they're, they're wanting to win by any means necessary. That's really what this is about. And they feel like you're the ticket. Okay. Because these people just keep asking about you, Aquarius. The hermit, the hermit card is here. Yeah. So for one, everybody is watching the star. That's any other, in a real tarot deck, you'll see somebody is holding the star in a glass looking watching their light you have this light about you people want a piece of or it's just like it's like uh, if you work in music i feel like somebody here works in music i also feel like this could literally be a reading directly for a tarot reader or uh somebody in a coven or um some type of social group like this okay um it's it's not like a professional social group i don't feel like though it could be for somebody here uh, but if this is a profession, this is something that you, like, love to do. I'm getting, like, a hobby vibe. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody that dibbles and dabbles in magic or somebody that dibbles and dabbles in music might go to the studio from time to time. Whatever the case may be, it's like, I just keep hearing music. So I feel like that's what it is. Or that's what it's coming back to. Yeah. And it's crazy because I'm hearing Kendrick Lamar when this person trying to come back to you. Bitch, where were you when I was walking? Some, some, some got the whole hood talking King Kunta. Everybody want to cut the legs off of Kunta. Black man taking no losses, okay? But there's two of swords here. It was in the reverse. You don't have a blindfold on. You don't, like, with the high priestess and the two of swords here in reverse, I feel like you see everything that is taking place. And I don't feel like you blocked anything. I feel like your door has been open this whole time. This person has never reached out, and they're about to reach out all of a sudden. Um, and they're going to act like it's just like they miss your friendship, but really they need something from you. The fool card is here. Hoping you'll take a leap of faith. 
For some of you, this person really feels like they look like a fool. For some of you guys, they thought they had the one up on you and they played themselves like you were for this situation or this group. You might have wanted something everybody acted like was like too much. Or no, you wanted something everybody was like joining forces or working towards to get you, maybe. Or it was something you wanted to work on. Everybody was totally about working on something. And um, this person wanted that attention on them. This person wanted that focus on them. This person wanted everybody to try to get this for them. They didn't want to put in the effort or work with the group. Or it was like, even if the group was thinking as a group, as a whole, thinking of the group as a whole, this person was thinking on an individual spectrum. And from an individual spectrum, this is something that has to have like a lot of competition. It could be sports. Um, it could be music. It could be dance. It could be so many fucking things. It's something competitive, though, for sure. Um, and anyway, so like I, like I said, I feel like you knew what these people in the background were trying to do. Like you had some sauce or some experience to you season. That's really the sauce. And you tried to warn this person, they didn't listen. And I feel like they fell out with these people and now they want to take a leap of faith coming back towards you to try to like rebuild the alliance or something. Um, but also because this person kind of wants to get back at this group and they feel like the way that they can get back at this group is by reconnecting with you. High Priestess here. There's definitely some secrets. What's up with the High Priestess and the Temperance card, Spirit? Let's talk about these major arcanas. Okay, and the Hermit card. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is trying to rush in with an offer for you pertaining to this situation. Sounds good. It looks good. Okay, a message could be coming in very soon. But there are definitely underlying motives here, you guys. I need you to know that with this Eight of Swords that just popped out, especially in the reverse... This person just wants to get you back stuck. This person wants to get you back stuck. Um, yeah. This is like an opportunity for this person with this eight of pentacles here. They feel like you can help them secure the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, in addition to this, with this eight of pentacles coming out of the reverse, I feel like this person was trying to do magic to strip you of all of your blessings, all of your gifts. Like I said, some of you guys trying to redirect them back to themselves. Yeah. I didn't realize this was in reverse. Yeah, but with the world card here in reverse, I feel like what they did when they did this magic, I feel like your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit team, or even you yourself, you could, this this, this person that I'm talking to, this Aquarius could definitely uh, walk the path, um, conjuring left, right hand, um, Wicca, whatever you do, you protected yourself. You could have done a return to sender spell, um, unblocking spell, open road spell. Who knows what you did? Some of you guys don't even have to do spells. You can literally just meditate. You can chant out what you want and you're going to get it. It's like Aquarius to me are like master manifestors. Like, um, but this person, whatever they did, trying to hurt you, they actually inherently hurt themselves, ended up turning their own world upside down. Whatever they wanted to happen to you actually happened to them. And everybody else is kind of looking at the situation like, when you fell out with this person, you had real reasons. Like, I feel like this person tried to sabotage you. I feel like this person could have been very fake, could have been talking about you behind your back. Um... Whatever the situation may be, and made it seem like it was the people that you were working with that were doing this. Okay, um, so like at some point you didn't trust the people that you were working with, and you only trusted this person until you found out that this person was talking about you to the people that you were working with, and you didn't trust them. And at some point, I feel like you just stopped trusting all these motherfuckers. <gasps> Spiritual burp, I'm speaking the truth. You stop trusting all these motherfuckers. It's like, why is so much conversation taking place when I'm not in the room? I'm not even here to defend myself. And you, whoever this person is that was your friend or whoever, divine masculine, divine feminine, kind of was just feeling like, why the fuck like, would you put these people over our friendship, these people that don't care about neither one of us? Like, 
I just told you what I told you to warn you. Yeah, and for some of you, I'm getting that, like, when these people, when this person would talk mess about you to these people, these people would talk to you about what this person was saying, never telling you what they were saying, of course. And it was like, you had, you were loyal to a fault to this person. You would defend this person. You would stand up for them. Okay. Yeah. You with this four of pentacles in reverse, I feel like you were very stingy about your energy when it came to using it to talk down on people or to engage in this type of shit. Like you wasn't even trying to engage in this type of shit like that. Okay, but this other person is like didn't realize when you was talking to them, complaining about the people you were working with, you was partially mad about how they was treating this person or how they was looking at this person or how they talked about this person. This person didn't realize that they took it as envy or jealousy and the whole time. The truth was, they were really jealous of you, trying to act like you were jealous of them. Yeah, this could have definitely broke your heart with the Three of Swords here. And I also get the uh, download here that this person, you know, they they managed to, they were successful in these black magic rituals, trying to cause you a tower. They were successful in taking this opportunity from you, even though they didn't know what the fuck they were getting themselves set into. With the Queen of Wands in reverse here, this person is, um, type of person is very ambitious that will do anything to win uh, Queen of Wands. This person could have definitely been very promiscuous, could have been, you know, like if this was a corporate job, this bitch will fuck her way up the ladder. Even if, you know, with it being in the reverse, she won't get queen status. Like, it's just about getting more privileges. It's just about being more liked. It's just about being more popular. And this person doesn't realize that with, like, their actions, they're actually diminishing their popularity. They're diminishing their value. And that's kind of what I feel like is happening right now. That's the three of swords I feel like they're dealing with right now is that they have to accept the fact that not only did they make themselves look like they were less valuable by spreading themselves so thin... People are also looking at them like the way that you just did Aquarius. Like, why would I ever trust you? And you did somebody that did nothing to you the way that you did. Like, what makes you think? Like, no. And this person's like, well, I'm not going to get what Aquarius is getting. No, we're still trying to get Aquarius back so we can get that to Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, with the Queen of Cups here, because you have a very loving energy, unconditionally loving energy. Yes, and you guys, this Queen of Wands, I feel like, is about to be coming towards you. Okay, Aries Leo Sag could be significant for somebody here. With this High Priestess card, uh, High Priestess card here, I feel like, um, in the World card, I feel like a Pisces or a Sagittarius could be involved. Sagittarius showed itself uh, with a Temperance card already, okay? You're definitely showing up with your swords, the Fool, the Hermit. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Let's see what else we can get to. But yeah, because you're full of love, unconditional love. I really feel like if this person came at you, you wouldn't want to fight or anything. You wouldn't even be mad. You'd just forgive them. Like, yeah, because you was dumb. Maybe and I told you so at the max. You know. But you're not finna... You're not even with the low vibrational energies like that. Like, you knew what this person was going to be dealing with. You know? You, matter of fact, with this Queen of Swords, I feel like you are unconditionally loving, and that's who this person is hoping they're going to get when they come and approach you, but you're going to come at them with this Queen of Swords energy, okay? You're going to be very blunt, very straightforward. You're going to tell this person the truth. You might even come, shit, you might be cutthroat about this shit, like, nah, bitch. I told you, but you wanted to fuck with them. You wanted to play me, bitch. Now I don't fuck with you no more. I don't trust you no more. Because who the fuck does this if somebody ain't did shit to, ain't did shit to them? It's giving a karmic friendship, okay? It's, it's giving a karmic friendship. And I really feel like you're really generous with this person. You could have put their dreams above yours. You could have worked really hard on them for what they wanted. This is the type of person... Let me break this down for y'all. When you wanted to go do something or you made plans, this person would flake on you. This person would, I don't know if I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to. But when this person made plans, no, I'm coming. I'm going to support you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that with you. Who? Feel me? Say that you're an artist. You guys are doing shows. Okay? You're going to all their shows. They won't show up to none of yours. They're always too busy. They never have time. Person is not supportive at all. This person is, like, really self-centered. Condescending, and I feel like when this person comes at you trying to rekindle this, you're gonna let them have it for that reason. 
You're going to let them have it. Like, bitch, you never had my back. You was talking shit about me for no reason. I'm defending you. You talking down on me like you dogging me. No, like, yeah. And, and there's another masculine energy, King of Swords here. This could be another male Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, or one of these energies in here is going to give it to this motherfucker straight like everybody is just going to be real with this person you could be here in your feminine and masculine energy like you start off feminine you doing what you who's that you trying you know and then it's like you have to get into this masculine energy for this person to listen to you because it's like they're not they're not it's not registering any other way that or it's you and a whole nother person that is involved here just giving it to this motherfucker okay and with this ten of swords i cannot have you in my reading don't with this ten of swords here i feel like everything they wished on you is coming back to them you know for some of you guys between the death card and this ten of swords i feel like this person was so ambitious they were ready to unalive your ass Yes, I feel like somebody was ready to fucking unalive your ass. Like, this person was wanted this by any means necessary. They were ready to kill you. And for some of you, I feel like this person deliberately did black magic to try to make sure this happened. And either your ancestors came through, you came through for yourself. Somebody, you was protecting yourself or you are protected by somebody here who made sure that it didn't reach you. But not only did it not reach you, this motherfucker came back on this motherfucker times 10. For some of you, I'm hearing this person wanted to unalive you. And when it was reversed, it came back not on the person directly, but on somebody that they love. Okay? Somebody close to them. Okay? So now there's like somebody they have to worry about that super close to them that they love being unalived at this point. Whether it's some sudden medical reason, um, whether it's some sudden uh, car accidents, uh, where this person is on life support, um, whatever the situation may be, or, or unalive you just career-wise. This person just wanted to kill your whole career. And what ended up happening was, like, if this person had somebody close to them that was, like, a resource or somebody close to them that, like, was a plug or that kept them in the door, whatever the case may have been, something happened to this person where instead of them removing or taking an opportunity from you, it took the opportunity from this person. Yeah. So now I feel like both groups are going to be coming at you, okay? With this Two of Cups, everybody is kind of seeing that there is a, a need for reconciliation. Everybody feels like you would be good to work with, that you are the ideal person, okay? That you would be their Two of Cups. Whatever it is that they're into, that they're loving. I don't feel like it's a love reading, but if it is, if it resonates, you know, flip it, stick it how you want to pick it, okay? Um, but I feel like... Both people, the group that you turned your back on and this person are both going to be reaching out to you with an offer because they feel like you're their two of cups. It's crazy how this motherfucker that tried to sabotage everything for you now needs your help to reverse things. It's crazy. Because they thought, they really thought they had the one up for a minute. That's how the universe worked though, don't it? Hmm? When you got bad intentions... And you're causing harm to people for no reason. If it's not justified in the spiritual realm, it's not just if it's not justifiable in the 5D, it's not justifiable in the 3D. So the way spirit played this motherfucker, it's giving Papa Legba, <laughs> the trickster, you know what I'm saying? It's giving Anansi vibes. Was they let this motherfucker think that they won? And he was like, well, let me show you just what you won with your dumb ass, with your slow ass. Let me show you what you want. And they're just like, well, is this what Aquarius was getting? Because they're so competitive with you. They're, they're, they're in deep competition with you. Is this what Aquarius got? I just wanted what Aquarius got. Like, no, the stars are aligned differently for Aquarius. Aquarius is a motherfucking star. Showed up as one in this reading. You're not going to get what Aquarius is going to get. That's the sauce. Like, you weren't... It, what's meant for somebody is meant for somebody. You can't get in the way of that or take it. And if you do, it's just like a genie. 
um seeing aladdin like when you when you got three wishes and you rub on that motherfucker and the genie fills those wishes like everybody that knows the truth about genies knows that like you really have to be careful what you wish for that's what i'm hearing be careful what you wish for because you just might motherfucking get it yeah and then also with this two of cups here somebody if it's not this person somebody involved here could have definitely been attracted to you this could have been why you couldn't work with this person like i don't know somebody putting their attraction for you over Ugh, i'm just getting the energy Ugh, i'm just getting the energy like you met this group yeah you met this group with intentions to work and something got sidetracked. It's giving like a CEO that likes you and you're like their secretary or whatever. And you just go to work to do your job. But you can't go to work without being hassled by this motherfucker. Whether this is in sports, something competitive for sure. Music, whatever. Like you might have started off going to the studio. You might have met this person under the pretense like, yeah, I want to work with you. I want to do music with you. I want to, you know... And then it was like, they started liking you and it was like, fuck the music. I like you. What about us? And it was just like, but I met you about music. And it was like, this person couldn't prioritize business over their infatuation. Meanwhile, the person that you were associates with or friends with or whatever, couldn't stand that everybody just was liking you like this. Like, and I feel like you couldn't stand it. Like, like I know I'm light and I know I'm. But I'm I'm not trying to be pursued by anyone here. I'm trying to, you know, separate business from pleasure. I'm trying to be professional. You know. And I feel like if you rejected this person who saw you as their two of cups, it was when you rejected them that they start talking to this person you were an acquaintance with. That's when shit really started getting messy, getting sticky. And it seemed like for this person, whoever this individual is, it, it just seemed like it was a lot easier for you to get rid for this person to get rid of you. And then it was like, it's like one of those things where it's like you throw away something that you think you don't need. And then it turns out that you do need that shit. And it's like, fuck. Now it's like I could go dig in the dumpster trying to find this motherfucker. Or I might just have to cash out and invest in what the fuck I wasn't willing to invest in in the first place, which was a replacement or whatever. Or, you know, I didn't see any use for it, so I threw it out and I disposed of it the whole time. This is really all I needed. And now it's like I either got to put in the work physically to get it back or I got to pay more to get it back. This is what this group is feeling like. Okay, what do I got to do to get Aquarius back? Do I got to pay or do I got to do this or do this? And this other person is just like, I know you're not finna pay Aquarius, you ain't pay me. I know you're not finna do this, you ain't do this to me. I know you ain't finna do this, I ain't get this, I ain't get that, I ain't no, 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 This person is in, like, real competition with you, and ironically enough, still expecting you to help them. It's giving Hunger Games. Except, this isn't where, like, everybody starves in, 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 in. The 13th precinct and and whoop de whoop whoop if you don't win the game. It's, 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 this is not the situation like that. It's just like, I will die if I don't beat you, Aquarius. I will beat you by any means. I will bring you close to me. For some of you guys, this person is only going to be... So this group is going to be reaching out to you, really trying to give you an offer. For some of you guys, this other person is going to reach out to you just to tell you about the drama they're having with this group. To warn you that they're going to be reaching out to you. They're going to try to tell you whatever was said about you when you weren't around them, whatever. Try to sour you so you won't take this opportunity from them. And then there also somebody here, whether it's this group or this person, is going to be poking to see. One, if you're already working with somebody else, if you could even work with somebody else. Because for some of you guys, it's going to boost this person's ego if you have not moved on to another group or another organization or another place to work. It's going to make them feel like they really won and whatever. And... This person could very well try to put you in the direction of another group, but I want you to understand that if they do that, it's literally just to distract you. This person has no intentions of helping you. They, they would only be reaching out to you to help themselves in the first place, and you need to know this before you put yourself on the line for them. Because with this five of wands here in reverse, this person is still very much in competition here. Very much in competition. And Aquarius, with the seven of cups here, I can tell that you have options, but underneath every one of these cups, everything ain't good. Use your discernment, okay? One of, under, one of these cups is a fucking snake. Okay, under one of these cups is death, okay? Everything in these cups is not good for you. 
So you need to be mindful of that. Everything everybody's about to be coming at you with, whether it's from this group or whether it's from this person, is not going to be good. Everything ain't going to be bad. You will have to use your discernment. But for this motherfucker over here that, that used magic on you and shit, yeah, this person realizes now that you are the empress. You are the only one who can undo what they've done. The only one. For some of you, I feel like as this first started taking place, I feel like you did let the other, the rest of the group know, like, I feel like so-and-so feels this way towards me. I don't know why she's doing this to me. Like, little things could have happened where you tried to address them, but you are a sweetheart. You're Queen of Cups energy. You can be a Queen of Swords, but you were in a Queen of Cups energy. So you could have, like, spoken to people that were mutual just to try to get some understanding or just to try to, like, iron things out or... Whatever the case may have been, but you were talking to them because you cared. This person was talking because they were gossiping. And it's like, even this group, I feel like, is differentiating between this Queen of Wands in reverse and this Empress that you are. Like, But this person had them confused. Like, It was like, no, Aquarius just feels this towards me. Aquarius was just like, no, I don't know why this person is doing this to me, but they feel something towards me. And the group was just kind of confused. Like, whoever, you know leaves leaves you know at the end of the day somebody in this group really liked you and they wanted you to stay or wanted you to come back or they they're planning on trying to come back to get you to come back or whatever the situation is, they they feel like you guys would have a formidable uh, bond or a formidable partnership here uh very abundant very beneficial mutually beneficial you guys can teach each other shit okay it's something you guys can teach each other okay it's something you guys can do for each other here um that's more beneficial than what this queen of wands is offering this person Okay, so they're going to be resurfacing. This group is going to be resurfacing. Um, but the question here is, who started it? I don't know why everybody's wondering, like, who started it? They're wondering if you're the instigator or if the other person is the instigator. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Now. Turn it down or go to your room. He chose, y'all. But, yeah. Um, they're trying to differentiate who was at fault, who started this, who's really the drama. And it's like, I don't understand how they don't understand who the drama is yet. Because it's like, you just fell out with the motherfucker that started all this shit. Aquarius, you just walked away. You just walked away from this group. You walked away from this person. You ain't kick up no dust. You ain't fight. You ain't do nothing. You just, like, cut off your energy from these people. You walked away with that eight of cups in there. You just walked away. It wasn't serving you. You walked away from things that weren't serving you. No hard feelings. I don't hate anybody. I just don't fuck with y'all. That was the situation. This person is walking away from this group on bad terms. Or this group wants this person to walk away, but they're not, like, willing to walk away. Contracts are in place. But they're making this person very uncomfortable to keep working with them. They no longer really want to work with them. They want to work with you, Aquarius. The lovers is here. They lo Somebody in this situation could literally be in love with you, infatuated by you. Okay, but somebody here is, like, this Queen of Wands, like, for their own selfish endeavors is like trying to get in the way of like this person be like but she's just so beautiful or Aquarius is just so damn handsome or whatever the situation may be and this person is just like but they're like they're just trying to like put all these things on you to this group or to this person particular that likes you in this group but this entire group they want them to be sour towards you they want to put a sour taste in their mouth towards you but it's just like at first, it was easy to believe this person, or you didn't know who to believe, but it's like, at some point, just knowing your character, they knew, like, bitch, you're laying it on. You're laying it on thick. You're, you're the problem. Someone is realizing that this person was the problem the entire time. Regretting that they just let you walk away, that they didn't, like, try to fight for you to stay, try to fight for this partnership, try to fight to keep working with you. This person is upset with themselves for, for not pursuing this like they should have or giving you the benefit of the doubt or for just listening to this other person. Yeah. So now somebody wants to come back and offer a page of cups. Okay. This is supposed to be an opportunity, right? Somebody's supposed to be coming down with a cup. 
But with this four of wands here in the reverse, I feel like uh, I feel like they do want to come and give you an offer. They also want to come and just get in your business and see who their competition is, who who else you're working with. Um, you might have known too much. They may be worried that you gave the secrets away. I'm not sure what the situation is, but they want to come and offer you a page of cups. For me, though, guys, I'm getting the energy. This is not a genuine page of cups. This is not a genuine opportunity. It's not a genuine opportunity until it is. So here's the catch with this four wands reverse. I feel like if you are working with someone else, they want to turn that four of wands upside down. They want to turn the Akuna Matata upside down. They don't want you working with them. They don't want y'all on good terms, okay? So they're going to offer you this opportunity so that you can come towards them. But as soon as you come towards them, they're going to take this offer back, okay? And the whole point of that is just that you've uh, burned bridges with who they thought was their competition. They don't got to worry about you no more. They just want to know if you're somebody they need to worry about. Specific to this Queen of Wands, but there is definitely a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio somewhere in here with all the cups that was in here. Um, and it could be a Scorpio with the Lover's card here. Um, and the Death card was here. I feel like there are people in this group that genuinely do want to give you what they want to give you some good karma because they realize how they handled this or how they did this was highly inappropriate or they didn't give you a chance or they didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. They gave the wrong motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. They thought you was the messy one. They thought you was the problematic one. They thought you was the shit starter and the whole time it was this person. And it took for you to walk away silently, not causing no trauma, not causing no problems for them to realize once these issues start resurfacing, like who this was coming from. For some of you within the group, this person started using those same tactic, the same tactics that they used against you on someone else that was there. But this person has more tenure, or this person is like more seasoned, so nobody was going for that shit. And it was like, oh, so now this bitch didn't expose themselves. At first, it was like, who is the instigator? Who is the victim? Who is defending themselves? Who is the uh, offensive one? Right? And it was like, you could have told them like, this is the truth. Like, I don't know why they're doing this. I don't understand why they're doing this. Move through a hoop, and they didn't believe you. Okay, for some of you guys, this person was jealous of you, jealous of your talent, jealous of your life, jealous of what you got, feeling like you don't really deserve this. I don't know why I keep getting in the music industry. It's just something about the competition in the music industry that this really um, feels like it comes back to it. In one of my songs, I say it too, like, I can't argue with a bitch I know I shit on. Nigga slipping lost a bitch he had a grip on. Okay, he wasn't willing to argue. You want to argue? <laughs> Ain't nobody finna argue with you, bitch. <laughs> like, that's the situation here. I hate to say it. That's why you walked away. Like, what the fuck? I'm here to work. I don't got time for this shit. And you stood on it. You walked away and you stood on it. You ain't called people. You ain't reached out to people. You don't talk to people. And these people just watching you all on social media. Just watching you and your success. Yeah, with the three of pentacles here, they want to work with you again. They was working together. Everybody turned on each other. Now they want to work back with you. They feel like you're the golden ticket. You can bring everybody back from this. That's what this person feels. Yeah, but with the six of swords, you've sailed away. They're wondering, like, are you too far gone? Are you... <laughs> Is there an island or somewhere nearby that we can identify where she's located? He's located where we can find this Aquarius. Uh, what can we do to find them? How can we reach them now? They was over here trying to act like you was burning bridges. I hear, I'm hearing little bridge burning. And that is actually a personal situation I experienced. It's funny that it's, it's resurfacing in this reading. This person, these group, this, everybody thought that you was the one burning bridges. And it was really this individual that burned a bridge with you. And you just feeling like you can't defend yourself, feeling like you can't speak up for yourself, can't do nothing. You know what I mean? You walked away. You didn't burn any bridges. You walked off the bridge. You didn't light a match. You didn't make a scene. You didn't blow it up. Like, But that's how people were trying to paint you at first. Just mad that you walked away. Now they're realizing. Now they're realizing. And then because you're in the Queen of Cups energy, I feel like this person is trying to test your loving energy, trying to test your level of forgiveness. 
If you're so forgiving, Aquarius, if you're such a loving person, if you're such a nice person, we should be able to get over this. You should be able to forgive me for this. But they want forgiveness or they want to, they want you to come back like nothing ever happened. And uh, you're in this Queen of Swords energy, like, ain't no way. Only a snake feels like they're entitled to slither back into somebody's life without giving any explanation or addressing why they had to slither out sneakily in the first place or why they had to get away in the first place, right? Period. Yeah. For this situation, you guys, the outcome, first of all, let me just let you know, your ancestors got your back. Your ancestors, your spirit, guys. Energies from the other side. Okay, everybody got your motherfucking back. Whether you say yes and move forward, there will be obstacles. I can already sense that. You will be protected. So if you choose to take it, Aquarius, you're safe. You're being guided to do whatever you want to do. If you want to take this opportunity, you're safe. If you don't, you're safe. Something better is going to come along regardless. You are going to do everything you set out to do regardless. Okay? But this person who wanted to unalive you, wanted to hex you, whatever the situation may be, it's like they're kind of trying to test your altruistic nature. And I kind of feel like the ancestors are too, um, about what's spiritually right versus what is right in the 3D, right? You very well could just sit back and let this person's curse work against them or whoever it is that they love. You could sit back and let this all unfold. This person is about to have a really... Uh, they're trying to cause you a tower, um, but it's coming back on them. Because I feel like your your ancestor, some some spirit, I feel like an ancestor, a masculine or feminine, intercepted this agenda and and sent it back to them, and it hit either them or the person that somebody that they love, and they're gonna be coming at you to help them fix this. And okay, spirit. So what I'm hearing is like. Spirit understands everything that you've been through. You wouldn't be wrong, so to speak, in the 3D if you didn't help this person. You wouldn't be wrong in the 3D if you turned them away, if you matched their energy. But matching energy is actually kind of low vibrational when you think of it. Why would you want to match somebody's negative ass energy? Recognizing from the spiritual realm that whoever this is, that this, this curse ended up going on to instead... If it wasn't the Queen of Wands, if this is really about someone close to this Queen of Wands that they're trying to, that they need your help to fix, even if it is this Queen of Wands, innocent bystanders is who your, your spirit team wants you to look at, okay? 47, 47 on the clock, 11, 11 is significant for somebody here. So whether it was this Queen of Wands trying to unalive you and it came back on this Queen of Wands directly, uh, if this is a person with kids or if this is somebody that got to take some, care of somebody... Or whatever, if their death or harm to them can impact others, spirit doesn't want you to think about that person. If you help them, they want you to think about the other people that you would be helping by helping them, right? The bigger picture. Spirit needs you to be looking at the bigger picture in the situation. Somebody needs to know this, okay? If it's not about this going directly back onto this Queen of Wands, whoever else it is that this went on to because of their reckless ass actions, spirit wants you to be considerate of that person. That is an innocent bystander whose messy ass family member, lover, whoever was playing the magic, dibbling, dabbling in territories they didn't know shit about and fucked around and got everybody lost. You have to be able to digest that and understand, you know what I mean? How critical this is. 48, 48, 12, 12, 11, 11 to 12, 12 could be significant for somebody here. Also three, 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 eight, 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 and also four, four, four. 666. Six, six. Crazy. I bought some Chicken, I sent somebody out to get me some food yesterday. I think I was in a reading when I did that. And um, when he brought back my chicken, chicken on a bone, you know how they weigh it out and put different price tags on it. The price was 666. So 666 could be significant for somebody here as well. Okay, I got a new card yesterday and 777 was on it as well. It's crazy. But yeah, you guys, that's the situation. This is like really fucking wild. What a fucking roller coaster. I wouldn't know how to feel or what to do, Aquarius. Like, but let's just outline before anybody. We knew Aquarius was the shit. We knew Aquarius was the motherfucking star. We knew Aquarius had talent. We knew Aquarius had something to offer. Okay. Just competition. 
motherfuckers trying to scope out the competition eliminating people if you know anything about like organized crime when you have to get rid of a group or get rid of a person to clear out that territory so that you could work that territory this type of situation this is what this person was on by any means necessary type shit and um now that they have all this territory they're managing it very poorly or they don't got nobody willing to work it or whatever the situation is so they're coming back to you and some i I guess you got some decisions that you need to make yeah the rest is still unwritten the rest is still unwritten yeah so we don't know how this is ending only you are in charge of how this is gonna go Spirit don't know what you're going to do with this. This group don't know what you're going to do with this. This Queen of Wands don't know what you're going to do with this. <laughs> Signs of love making. Computer was finished. Snooze. Signs of love making by Tyrese is here. Somebody here could think that they're compatible with you. They could have some desire for you sexually. They could be coming back for that. Shit, this person could even desire you sexually. You know, like... Like they think they hate you or they don't know if they hate you or they love you. These are the signs of love making. Is it just a neonic sign that I'm looking for? Well, I want to know. I don't even know if I'm singing the words right, but yeah, somebody feels like if they come back to you, this would be a true love story. Like somebody involved in this situation feels like you guys have an unwritten love story. Like you guys never got to get this far because of the, all this other shit. And they just want to see like what could come of this, if it could go anywhere, if it was real. I don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, somebody in this situation is definitely trying to come to you as a man or a woman. I feel like it's about the gossip. I feel like it's about the opportunity. I feel like they know that they have to address this to get back in your energy. Okay. okay but yeah, um, for some of you guys, it says the heart don't break even because when the heart break, no, the heart don't break even. I don't even know if I'm singing that song right. It's a song, though. The heart don't break even. So, yeah, like, I feel like you could have been really fucked up over losing this. You could have been really fucked up about all, like, the way that the fallout, my phone is ringing, that's confirmation that these people are about to be reaching out to you. You could have been really heartbroken about the fallout, really heartbroken that you couldn't keep going, really heartbroken that this didn't go where it was supposed to go, whatever the situation may be. But when it says the heart don't break even, I feel like you was hurting. But after all the shit this person did to try to obtain this, to be getting ready to lose this, <gasps> excuse me, spiritual brother, I'm speaking some real shit. I'll see y'all working on throat chakras. Um, but I feel like they thought they hurt you. And they rather, you know, I hate to fucking say it. This person enjoyed it when he was sad over this. They enjoyed it when you walked away. They was talking with this group like, oh, well, Aquarius too dramatic. Aquarius too this. They like totally just invalidated you, dogged you out, really, really fucking fucked up. Just a fuck. This person is a fucked up person. This person is really a fucked up individual for no reason. Got in the way of a potential love story. Like, literally. And I feel like someone from this group is going to be coming to you as a man. And then I feel like, or a woman, and I feel like once this group comes to you, this person's going to come to you just to defend themselves and then to keep you from the group. And, you know, right now you are in a state of peace. This says there's nowhere I'd rather be. I'm thinking of the song. When you, no, 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 you. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But that's significant for somebody here. Let me pull a couple more cards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, just be yourself is on the top here. This person was trying to be you. Just be yourself. Yeah, somebody was definitely having wet dreams about Aquarius or has been daydreaming about Aquarius nonstop. Can't get you out their head. Somebody wants you to take the fall. So this person may be reaching out like, can you just take accountability for why we're not friends anymore? And you're not responsible. 
You're not like, <laughs> they're just hoping 54, 54, 9, 9 on the clock. They're just hoping that you'll take responsibility for why. Like, no, I'm about to tell these motherfuckers, if these people approach Aquarius, Aquarius is going to tell them like, no, no, this person said y'all did this or y'all felt this way. This person told me this. This person made me feel like this. Like Aquarius ain't finna hold back for you. I'm sorry. If that's the death that you're concerned about, you're just going to have to take that L, baby. Yeah, because this person got bones in the closet. They're concerned that somebody is about to catch it. Somebody is about to find out what it is that they've been doing behind the scenes. They're about to be exposed. Everybody is going to decide, like, this motherfucker is for the streets. Like, this bitch ain't shit but drama. How the fuck are you out here trying to fight and just causing nothing but drama? This ain't love and hip-hop, bitch. You ain't getting paid for this shit. If you're a masculine, what the fuck do you get out of fighting with everybody you're supposed to be working with? Okay, this ain't love and hip-hop, okay? This is not good attention. This is not going to get you clout. This isn't going to get you anything. If anything, it's going to get you knocked off silenced you're gonna get 15 minutes and that's it while other motherfuckers getting a lifetime yeah somebody's saying that the, their mind plays tricks on them sometimes they didn't know who to believe you might have felt like your mind was playing tricks on you like is this really fucking happening it was it was and someone is realizing that not only not only <laughs> that you didn't deserve this in the first fucking place this could have been the person that did you wrong. Like, they're realizing, like, Aquarius was just pointing out that these motherfuckers was out of line in the first place, whatever. But they're realizing all the work they put into putting you down. Like, you didn't deserve that. Like, if y'all would have been together on the same team, you probably could have gotten farther. But they diminished everything. And now it's like, you don't deserve this. It's, 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 it's like, you didn't deserve what this person did to you. I feel like the group feels like this. you didn't deserve what this person did to you. And now that I feel like this group wants to offer you something, I feel like this person is like, they don't deserve that. Like, you, they don't deserve that. Why would you get that to him? Like, in a don't give it to him type way. Like, you, you're not deserving of it. You haven't put in the work for this, okay? Um, also, for this group, be careful that they're not trying to come back and give you a lesser offer than the original offer just to show everybody else, like, that they can, right? Aquarius can come back, but if they come back, they're going to have to do this, 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 and this. They ain't just going to get to come back. Like, you did something to leave. Like, like it was your fault you had to leave in the first place or something. Something, I don't know. Make sure that everything is balanced. Reciprocity, ma'at, is coming to mind. You need to make sure that there's equal giving and receiving here. Whatever, if you choose to take this offer, that's all the spirit wants you to pay attention to. Just make sure that whatever you're putting into this, you're going to get something out of it. Because these people are users. Succubus energy. Energy vampire energy. Ooh, I'm scratching my hand and I'm on the fucking... Ooh, my nose just hurt. I'm on the money. Take it or leave it. That's really the sauce, okay? And I feel like that's for some hot wings or some chicken strips or something like that, okay? But that was the sauce, you guys. Um, thank you to everybody who was here with me. If this resonated for you at all, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, or subscribe. Tap in with your girl. I'll be dropping readings all day today. Love you guys. Till next time.